Welcome to another mammal drawing video. Um, today we are going to start drawing some artiodactyls or uh, even toed ungulates. And that group also includes, rather unexpectedly perhaps, whales, which descended from rather more typical hoofed animals. Anyways, I've decided for reasons of practicality in drawing these things to have a different page, so to speak, for whales. So I'm just going to focus on what we might call traditional artiodactyls for the next, uh, um, for the next uh, videos, even though whales are actually, and dolphins of course, are actually part of that same group and nested within it in terms of uh, family trees, phylogenetics, and so on. So um, that is a disclaimer at first. So I'm going to do it like that, just for practicality. So what am I drawing now? I'm drawing a so-called guanaco, so the wild type of uh, llama. And I'm drawing this guy from Ogo from the front, at least in terms of its face. Now, you probably realize that um, um, llamas and, and their uh, the kin are rather... Um, a rather stubborn and uh, strong-willed animals. So I hope this um, depiction more or less displays that too by making it and look by making the guanaco look a bit well skeptical towards the other animals that are soon going to join it on the page. Actually, the uh, rhino, the horn, the kiang, and the tapir are uh, to the right of it, but you can't see that right now. Anyways, guanacos are part of the camel family, and uh, camels, as it so happens, camels and kin, are the um, most distinctive type of artiodactyl, ev evolutionary speaking, evolutionarily speaking, so that's why they come first. Now, I'm drawing uh, the animal already as I speak, so like I said, it looks a bit skeptical, let's not forget the eyelashes that these guys have. Let's lid its eyes a bit more. And uh, the long neck. Now. Oh, guanacos are also a bit wooly, so that's visible, I think, in from the way I draw it. Um, from the way I drew it, that's better. So, here we go. Moving on to the legs, which are long in all extant camel-type animals, and I think most, if not all, extinct ones as well, of which there are a lot. If you want to be astonished by that, surely look it up. Anyways, here we go. Now, we have, of course, to keep in mind that the feet of camels, camel-type animals, are also quite distinctive. Now, you know what these things are called and what they refer to in colloquial uh, language. I'm not going to say that. If you do not, just look it up. Anyways, here we go. Now, I made the back a bit too short in terms of sloping, so I'm fixing that a bit here. We also have to include the tail, which is high set in the animal and a bit curved. Here it is. Let's make it. Let's make it hairy as it should be. It's very short, but um, being quite hairy makes it look a bit longer than it actually is, as is often the case in animals. Now, we shouldn't forget the hindquarters, of course, which are prominent in camelids, camel-type animals. Here we go. I'm, oh, I made the ankles a bit too high, so let's fix that, let's fix that more or less. I think I'm manage to well, limit the damage. Of course, when drawing things, it's also often possible to fix things a bit here and there, if necessary. Do not get too... Um, do not get too 
panicky or whatever if you uh, misdraw something often you can solve these types of things creatively now in camelids the uh, stomach seems rather prominent and the legs the the back legs exceptionally long because there's some skin that's present in most mammals missing from the uh, from the hips you could say the way the uh, abdomen connects to the body sorry connects to the body and the legs so here we go oh careful should be showing you what i'm drawing of course here we go let's include the pattern that these animals have whites mostly and here we've got our somewhat way no wait we're not done yet like I said before, you can fix these things. So let's put it on a slope because I drew the legs a bit too long compared to the front legs. So here we go. Now, we have more or less fixed that. So I hope you forgive my cheating in doing so. Let, oh, wait, let's give it a bit more hair on the body. We can get it look a bit more fluffy, perhaps as it should be. And here we are, Wanako. Hope you enjoyed.